MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. Matthew, Ari Thompson is really going places these days. Yes, that's the plan. Um, we've been expanding fairly steadily for the last five years, uh, tripled in size in that time. Um, a lot of that's due to investment and a lot of that's due to the commitment of the managing director who puts his hand in his pocket as often as he can. Um, along with that investment, we've grown the workforce, we've also grown the skills, but in particular we've grown the level of automation that we carry out. We invested something like five years in our first uh, automatic pilot fast term system. We've now got another further four of those linked to uh, Morrissey machines that uh, were installed in tandem with those parts. That's made a huge difference to our working pattern. We now work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 363 days a year, give the guys Christmas Day, Boxing Day off. Um, but we only man the factory 12 hours. So it's a 24 seven operation and it's only manned half that time. Uh, sales for the business have grown sufficiently that we can load the pallet machines up, fast terms will run us through the night, automatically check what's going on, automatically sort its own priorities out, automatically sort the way that it wants to most efficiently run the machine through the night. So at what point did automation come to the forefront here? Who, you know? um, it began really with Mike's drive to work 24 hours, 7 days a week. But the efficiencies that we need um, in the global market, in the competitive world that we live in, and all the other nice phrases, mean that we've got to be able to run it 24 hours, but not man it 24 hours. So every investment that we've made in the last five years in machine tools, in fast stem systems, in pallet systems, in bar feeders, any machine, any investment has got to be capable of doing 24-7. And that's going to continue. You're, you're moving into a new facility? Yes, the plan is uh, we're building uh, about 300, 400 yards away from here, so we want to maintain the local presence, we want to maintain the local workforce, the local skill base, but we'll be moving into a premises that is something like four times the size we are now. Um, we are cramped. We've got a second site working at the moment based in Andover, which is about 22 miles away, not particularly where we want to be. We want everything on site all of the people on one site and everybody going in the same direction. So within the next two years, it will be purpose-built, factory of our own, designed by us, owned by us, and we'll be moving all of our existing kit in. Plus, hopefully, uh, later this year, uh, middle of 2015, we're putting in another three Morisiki multi-pallet machines. That won't be the end of it. Mike will continue to invest, so we've got to grow and we've got to get a bigger premise. And will they have fast M systems on them as well? Um, Honest answer? No. <laughs> <laughs> Only because there isn't a fast term system that suits that particular machine. Um, we will be looking to invest in standard twin pallet machines. They will be linked to fast term systems. So it's a matter of the particular investment that we make and the machine tool that we require will either be bar fed or multi pallet system or a fast term system. And automation's only good as long as it's reliable. And Absolutely. Um, no. Nobody wants to... I mean, the good thing about the fast term system is it's key to automatic alarms. So we do have guys on call. They will get a text at two in the morning if something's gone horrendously wrong. But by and large, the way that the systems work is sufficient that we've got a job going wrong. The machine detects it. Either the machining centre or the fast term's pallet system will detect it. And we'll pallet out, bring in the next good job. And it's very, very rare once, twice a year, that somebody actually has to get out of bed at silly o'clock in the morning and come and fix something. By and large, we run all the way through the night, probably 300 days out of the 363 that we work. So as the business has grown, you couldn't live without that automation? No, no, we couldn't live without it. Uh, we couldn't man night shifts. We, we ditched night shifts completely five years ago when we put the fast stems in. So we no longer have that night shift did it, day shift did it, night shift did it, day shift did it argument. That's all gone. So our labour force is much happier, everybody works days. Um, we couldn't do without it, we couldn't compete without it, which is just as important. And the interesting fact is it, it, you're often not running batches, are you? They can be... No, no. The, the real benefit for us as a business and in our aerospace and defence markets particularly, but in some of the industrial markets, is we make a quantity per month. So I can tell you now what Boeing is going to build in the way of 737, 737 two years from now. So I need a machine that's capable of running the same thing week in, week out, without being reset, without being recalibrated. So the multi-pallet system allows us to run up to 100 jobs into two machines 
and some of those jobs have been set for the five years that we've had the fast time system and never come off. And the quantities involved on any of those jobs could vary significantly too? Yep, we, we run things that run five a month, we run things that run 25 a month. Um, occasionally, we, with a bit of luck, we run things that run 100 a month, but there aren't many aircraft programmes that have that sort of number. Uh, but no, it's completely flexible. Um, ideally, with the pallet system we've got, we would run one job on days, one job on nights, 14 a week, job done. But it can flex up and down from that, and that's part of the joy of the system as well. So Nick, you've recently joined Fast Ems. Why did you, why did you join the business? I joined Fast Ems uh, because I've been in engineering just a couple of years. And one of the things that strikes me is that British engineers, given the right investment, British engineers can compete with anybody in the world. Okay, so when we talk about fast ends, what are they supplying and what solutions are you putting into engineering companies? Okay. The key thing that fast ends supplies is automation and the automation of machining sensors. Not just machining sensors, most cutting tools, but principally twin pallet horizontal machining sensors. Now, is automation something for every engineering company or is it for just the selected? No, ab absolutely. The whole point about automation is that you can take a relatively expensive machine tool, say a twin pallet horizontal machining sensor, which is going to cost you, what, 150, 200,000 pounds? If you're doing well, you'll get something like a 45% spindle up time efficiency out of that machine. If you automate that, and an entry-level automation, such as the one that we're looking at here, is in the region of £100,000, you can probably double the spin efficiency. So you can see that for not even the same cost of twice the machines, you can get twice the output and all the associated benefits. Now, does that apply to just production machining batch work? No, in fact... Um, what you have in modern engineering is the conflict between, on the one hand, wanting to reduce your batch sizes down to small quantities, but on the other hand, what do you do about the cost of setting up? And you have this constant conflict between wanting to run off large batches with all the issues of work in progress and storage and capital tied up, but at the same time, if you go to small batches, what do you do about the setup cost? And what FastTems gives you by automating is the benefits of both. So you get the cost effectiveness of um, large batches, but also all the cost downs with running small batches, and that's what automation gives you. We travel the country, the length and breadth of the country, going to lots of engineering companies. On your call it your, your list of, of, of companies that you would look to push this uh, solution to, you're not restricted then. You could go at any engineering company that's machining, whether it's quantities, small batches, everybody is a target for fast games. Absolutely. If, if you're at a point where you're considering investing in two machines, why not have one machine and automate it? And, and any SME can do that. And it's a modular system, so you can build it up. It doesn't have to be just one station, two station. The whole principle is you can you can build it to your own, you know, the, what you need. Absolutely. I mean, there are small limitations with this system. This entry level system, you buy the initial unit at about a hundred thousand, and you can extend it twice. Uh, the extensions are significantly less than the hundred thousand. So one extension will probably cost you another forty or fifty thousand. The third extension, even less. And for each extension, you can put another machine on it. So in that sense, the, the entry-level modular systems are, in, are, are, to a limited extent, extendable. But our other systems, the slightly more expensive systems, are infinitely available. So you're excited about the future for you at Fast Ends. You see lots of opportunity for both you and the company. Absolutely. The, for me, the UK market has not caught on to automation in the way that I think it ought to. Uh, there's a whole load of customers out there that I'm just dying to talk to. <laughs> Massive market, it's, it's all good. <laughs> well, let's just hope they watch this video. Thank you. Thank you very much, Paul. <laughs> For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.